Hey guys, so I decided to do something a little bit different today. I tried on my costume for Sith Leia and then of course I wanted to add more to it so I kind of started like making designs and this is what I have. So yeah, um, that white shirt I already have. These are just pants but I decided that I want to make this belt. Not sure about the pauldron if I want it or not. I definitely want to make the belt. I already said that. <laughs> um, not sure about the gauntlets either if I want to make those. They'll be pretty simple to make. And then this was kind of like ideally what I would like to do. But yeah. So we're going to see how much I can get done today. But yeah, I'm going to get started on that belt. I already had black fabric. Right now I'm just checking to see how it drapes and seeing if it will work. Next I measure around my waist where I want the belt to sit. I take that measurement and add at least an inch to it for seam allowances and mistakes. I wanted the fabric to be pleated so I need the fabric to be wider than it will eventually appear. I arbitrarily chose 8 inches. So I cut a piece of fabric that was 38 inches long and 8 inches wide. This is how I make the pleats. I mark every 1 inch. Next, I make the marks touch each other, like they're kissing, and pin in place. I repeat for every white mark that isn't making out with another white mark. And the last white mark makes out with the edge of the fabric. I start making pleats in the center of the fabric. For the center, I'm checking that it fits the belt buckle. After sewing the pleats in place, put the band around your waist and mark where to sew a seam in the back of it. I mark it with my pencil, pin it, then sew the band together. I sewed it using a zigzag stitch, even though I'm fairly certain I didn't need to. Now I try it on to make sure it fits before I cut off the excess fabric. Then I repeat the pleat process on either side of the back seam. Now I use the measuring tape to estimate how long I want the sash to be in the front and the skirt in the back. For the sash, I ended up cutting a piece of fabric that was 36 inches long and 8 inches wide. The back skirt was about 30 inches by 40 inches long. I will loosely hand sew the top of both pieces of fabric. My stitches are about an inch apart. Once I finish sewing along the top, I pin the pieces of fabric to where they will sit on the band. Again, in hindsight, I should have sewed the skirt and sash on before pleating my fabric, but oh well. Repeat for the back skirt. admire your work before you realize you don't know how to sew it. So when I took the belt off I messed up some of the pins so I put it on the mannequin to repin it and turn my pins in the correct direction. <laughs> now that I'm finished sewing the belt I try it on to make sure everything still fits and looks right. Now I am measuring the width of the front sash because I want the belt buckle to be as wide as the sash at this point. Now time for the buckle. I have a Princess Leia belt from a costume I bought a few years back, so I used it as a template. It happened to be the correct width. I lined the top of the paper up with the top of the template because I know that this line is straight, and I make sure that the point on the buckle lines up with my center fold, and I trace the bottom on the buckle. For sides, I mark where the sides and top edges meet on my paper and use a ruler to connect the lines. Then I use the ruler to straighten up my other lines. Fold in half and cut out the better side. Check to make sure the sides looks good on the belt. Now I'm going to trace it and cut it out of a scrap piece of foam. Always keep your scraps. Always cut inside your marker line. For this it doesn't really matter, but for other items that need to fit it does matter. Princess Leia's belt has a hemisphere on it, so now I'm looking through my old gems for a substitute.
but this is the closest I can find. But because the back of it is not flat and it's faceted, I decided not to use it. Instead I would just use a circle. So I take my original template and my compass and draw a circle on it. And then draw a bigger circle. And cut it out. Next I trace it where I want it to be. And cut the circle out of craft foam. You can glue it using contact cement or a hot glue gun. I then decided that I wanted to go ahead and make an empire symbol using craft foam. Not quite sure what I would use it for. So I found the picture of my phone that I can enlarge and minimize. Then later realized that if I just screenshot it, I can enlarge and minimize it all I want. I trace the image onto tracing paper. We're completely out of ink for the printer. I check the size to make sure that they're all the same and trace my second circle onto the craft foam. Now I cut the tiny details out of the tracing paper using my exacto knife. Then trace the tiny details onto the craft foam. Now comes the part where I realize I might be insane. I cut the details out of the craft foam using the exacto knife. I imagine the sharper your knife, the easier this would be. However, it did not seem very easy to me. And this is where I get confused as to where I will put my precious symbol. I decided not to put it on the belt because I wanted people to notice it, since I put so much hard work into it. Also, it made the belt buckle less recognizable, and I wouldn't be able to use it again in other cosplays. But it was a difficult decision. After making my decision about the circle, I finished gluing my belt buckle using hot glue. Now for priming. I mix water with wood glue and paint it on using an old crusted up paintbrush. I primed the front and back of the symbol because I wanted to have the option to use either side. Four coats later, I'm ready to spray paint. Sorry about the awful picture. I didn't want to get spray paint dust on my camera gotten on my glasses several times and have finally learned my lesson. Two coats later. Now for weathering. This is just some black acrylic paint. Old black acrylic paint. So the silver was a bit too bright for what I wanted so I painted the whole piece in this liquid mess. Wipe it away until I have the desired effect. So I've already painted my pieces and I've weathered them. So now it's time to clear coat them. I'm going to use Mod Podge. I did two coats of Mod Podge. Mod Podge took away some of the metallic shine that I wanted but it's okay. Next, I glue it onto the belt. I apply contact cement to the back of the buckle and to the fabric and stick the belt buckle right onto the fabric and wait for it to dry.